What's up guys, I'm BTC, a void player is back. Blizzard is finally re-implementing the avoid player function, but it's got a whole bunch of changes. Let's break it down. Guys, this just popped up. This is incredible. I am super excited that they are bringing back the avoid player function. They are making some changes to it. We'll get to that in just a second. Now, this isn't going to fix everything. You know, toxic players are still going to be there. You're still going to have throwers, all that sort of stuff. But this is an incredible first step in trying to address all of that and actually putting more power into the hands of the players who can actually now start to deal with that sort of stuff. So you won't end up getting, you know, the same thrower on your team two, three matches in a row. So this is incredible. So there used to be an avoid player function that was in the game and people kind of abused it a little bit by avoiding players that were really good so that way they just wouldn't have them in their game at all and what Blizzard did was they just completely removed it because it was problematic now I made a whole bunch of suggestions and other people did as well and it seems like Blizzard took these suggestions and it's almost exactly what they are now going to implement so rather than just a generic avoid player it's specifically avoid as a teammate which means if you have a thrower or a troll or someone that's causing you problems you avoid that person and they will not get on your team for the next seven days now after that seven day period is over the avoid thing just kind of vanishes and you can actually get them on your team again but if you need to you can just you know again avoid them however there is a little bit of a limitation with this you can't just go around avoiding like tons and tons of people because that would cause all all kinds of problems with the matchmaking system, queue times, and all that sort of stuff. So you are limited to only getting two people on that avoid as a teammate list. But really, the thing is, a lot of times when you need to avoid someone, it's more in like the session that you're playing. So if you sit down to play Overwatch and you end up running into someone who's problematic, then you know, you kind of get that whole session ruined, right? Like there's a chance that if you're playing for the next couple hours, that person is also going to be playing for the next couple hours, and there's a really good chance that you're going to end up getting into matches with them. Well, now with this feature, you'll be able to just, you know, put them on that avoid list, and then you don't have to deal with them. I mean, they'll be on the enemy team, and you'll get the satisfaction of being able to beat them, but, you know, you won't have to worry about them being on your team. Now, the next day, you might not have to deal with that person because they might not be playing, instead it might be somebody else. And in which case, you just put that player on your avoid list. And once you get two, it's gonna start like taking the first one off and replacing them and that sort of deal. Now you might be able to tell that I'm a little bit excited while I'm talking about this because this is really good. Like this is going to make so much stuff better, it's, it's just great. Now, there is one other issue as well, which is the one tricks. So, this is actually going to make one trick situations a lot better because here's the thing Blizzard has basically said that you can play any character you want pretty much no matter what it doesn't matter if it's attack defense whether your character is working or not you can play whatever character you don't have to switch the problem is there are other people that just simply don't want to deal with that. They don't want to have the Symmetra on attack. They don't want to deal with your Torbjorn on attack. They don't want to deal with your Hanzo. Whatever it happens to be, they don't want to deal with it. So it's kind of unfair to the other players that don't want to have to deal with that one person who is determined to one trick. So now with the avoid player as a teammate, you don't have to deal with that person. But the good news is, for the person that is actually doing that one trick, it means that you're gonna start getting teammates that want to be on your team. They're not going to constantly complain about you and they're not going to, you know, troll or throw or anything like that because if they don't want to be on your team as that one trick Torb, right? They're just going to avoid you. Now, this will mean that some of those one tricks are going to have a slightly longer queue time, but the thing is, when you're talking about the average player, right, there is a ton, a ton, ton, ton of players in the gold and the platinum brackets. So the average queue time, 
really not going to be increased all that much. The only time it's really going to have any sort of like, okay, you're going to wait a little bit extra is when you're talking about like the GM and the top 500 level. You know, those top 500 Torbjorn and Symmetra one tricks are definitely going to see a noticeable increase in their queue times. But I think the net result is that when they do get into the game, it's going to be a much better experience because the people that they're playing with aren't going to, once again, they're not going to be complaining about it. So overall, this is an awesome, awesome change. I don't know exactly when it's going to take effect. They didn't tell us, but they did say they were going to originally put it out for season 10, which is over a month away, but they fixed it all up early. So we're probably going to get this next week. This is awesome. I cannot wait. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.